What's up guys, this is Mike the Detroit Borg with a look at the new iPad smart case for the iPad 2 and the iPad 3. So this showed up in the Apple Store shortly after the WWDC event. So along with MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs, the MacBook Pro with a Retina display and the new Apple Airport Express, we also get a new iPad accessory. So again, this works with iPad 2, iPad 3, retails for $49.99 and does one thing that the smart cover didn't do, which is protect the back of the iPad. So we kind of get a smart cover with a back plate. Uh, now it doesn't connect to the iPad via magnets like the smart cover, but it still has the same functionality. So we still have magnets in the cover, which uh, fold up and prop up the iPad and work with the sleep wake up function. And you can see here that we can prop this up in landscape mode or keyboard typing mode. Now this is a polyurethane cover, so there is no leather option like you get with the smart cover. This is available in six colors. So we have light gray, dark gray as we have here, we have pink, green, blue, and product red. Product red is an Apple Store exclusive. So let's crack it open and see what we get. So we just peel up this tab, push it through, and there is our smart cover. So you can see here on how to install it, of course, it's pretty straightforward. On the back, you get this nice white Apple logo, and you also have the option to engrave this. There are, there's free engraving if you order this online. So if you don't want to engrave your iPad, you can include this accessory as a gift and engrave it, you know, something like congratulations on your graduation or something like that. So it's kind of a nice option. So inside, we have a little insert here. You can take that out. Now on the inside of the case, you can see we have iPad smart case designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. We have this nice microfiber cloth material, which pads the iPad, protects it quite nicely. We have these uh, indents here for the buttons to sit in. Again, the buttons are completely protected. We also have cutouts for the physical switch, cutout for the camera. Again, a, uh, a divot here for the sleep-wake button. We have a cutout for the microphone, cutout for the headphone jack. And we have a cutout or grill here for the speaker. Again, it's quite flexible. And we also have a cutout for the 30 pin dock connector. Incidentally, this will not work with the uh, iPad dock. So if you have an iPad dock, this will not allow you to use it. So you'd have to take this off in order to use the iPad dock. Now installing the case is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is sort of drop the iPad in and work the corners around the edges. So see it pops into place and you're good to go. Now on the side we have these buttons which are outlined in white along with the plus and minus sign. We have a cutout for the rotation or a mute switch. We have a cutout for the camera. Cutout or a button here for the sleep wake function again lined in white. We have a cutout for the microphone. Cutout for the headphone jack. Along the bottom we have a cutout for the 30 pin dock connector. We also have that cutout for the speaker. Now taking a look at the edges, you can actually see it's sort of a cut material. Again, this actually resembles the original iPad case. So it looks very similar construction. It's got that same sort of texture, the same sort of polyurethane material. So it may not be great for resisting fingerprints and dirt and smudges and that sort of thing, but time will tell. Another detail here is you can see that the cover sort of underlaps or recesses from the edge of the iPad, which actually kind of makes it difficult to open the cover. But as you can see, the cover works with the auto wake, auto uh, lock functionality. Again, there are magnets in the cover. You can fold it back into that trifold position. So you can prop it up for keyboard mode or prop it up for landscape mode. Now, just like the smart cover, the front cover will fold back and sort of magnetically adhere to the back of the iPad, although it's not quite strong. So if you let it go, it will let go. Now a detail worth pointing out here is that there is an ample lay-on table design. So if this sort of flips forward while you're using it in landscape mode, this bezel will protect the glass from being scratched. Also, it's kind of interesting to note that the cover does not cover any part of the bezel of the glass. It just covers the very lip of the bezel. So you can see it looks pretty precise as a nice detail here. Now the case is also pretty easy to take off. The best way to do it is sort of push on the corner and pop them off. Now my initial impressions are somewhat mixed, largely because it's kind of hard to open. So you kind of have to use your fingernail to get in there because it really sits flush here along the bezel. So there really isn't an easy way to grab it, although it's not that hard. But I've noticed that right away that it was kind of difficult to uh, peel open. So uh, that's one problem. The other problem here is this material, which I'm a little concerned about. Again, it resembles the original Apple case, which was pretty bad at repelling stains. 
and dirt. So uh, hopefully this doesn't have that same problem, but time will tell. Otherwise, it does an excellent job covering all the surfaces of the iPad. I love the buttons. They look very sharp here uh, with that white outline. And again, they cover the buttons and seal them up. There's just enough room for each port to operate. The case does not impede the operation of the speaker. And it's very thin and lightweight, so it doesn't add much bulk to the iPad. And of course, you have your Apple branding retained, so the case does not obscure your Apple branding. But at $49.99, it's definitely an expensive case for what really is expensive quality uh, it's a nice design uh, but $49.99 is pretty steep for what's essentially polyurethane so that's gonna do it for me guys thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video